Jesus went out as usual to the Mount of Olives, and his disciples followed him. The Bible says here that Jesus went out as usual to the Mount of Olives. It's hard to say exactly why it is that Jesus keeps going to the same place, but there may be a clue in the book of Zechariah. In Zechariah 14, when it talks about the day of the Lord, this is the, the day of final judgment that God puts on all of creation. It says that on that day, his, the Lord's feet, will stand on the Mount of Olives east of Jerusalem. And a little further down, it says, the Lord will be king over the whole earth. On that day, there will be one Lord and his name, the only name. It could be that Jesus keeps going to the mountain of olives to fulfill this part of the prophecy. That when the disciples think about Jesus, they're thinking about this one king who reigns over everything. And so today we want to talk about and reflect upon Jesus as the king over everything in our lives and over everybody's life. Do we see Jesus in that way? Do we see him as the scriptures say? as the king over the whole earth, do we think of his name as the only name that we should follow and give our hearts to? Today, is he the only king? If so, that's great. And keep going in that direction. But if there's another name which you like to follow, start again and recognize that there is only one king and there is only one God and the one Lord, and let Jesus be that name that is the only name. Let's pray. God, I accept you as my king. Help me to know and to do your will. May my life bring glory to your name. Amen. 